A little over a month since I took over as the first Sea Lord, and as we turn our minds towards the Christmas break, I just wanted to take this opportunity, the first I have to address you all, to say thank you. Thank you for a phenomenal year of delivery. Whether you've been working in the naval bases as our contractors, running the much needed services behind the scenes, civil servants, commercial support partners, whether you're part of the industrial base that makes the Navy able to do what it's able to do, or those in uniform, sailors, Marines, members of the Royal Fleet Auxiliary who are deployed around the world, I am enormously grateful for all that you have achieved in the last 12 months. It has been a wonderful year of delivery. As the Chief of Joint Operations for most of this year, I have been able to gaze in with enormous pride as a Naval officer and tremendous professional satisfaction as the Joint Commander at everything that the Naval community has been achieving uh, on behalf of the government. It has been, frankly, a source of excitement for me as I have seen Naval units, large and small, deploy to the Arctic ice, down into the Southern Oceans, and within the next few days to have crossed every single line of longitude around the world. We have had impact with partners and allies. We have put out messages of support to our friends. We have helped people in need with compassion. And we have demonstrated not only the very best of our values, but also some of the cutting edge capabilities, the innovative thought, the courage and the compassion that make up everything that is so good about the Royal Navy today. So to you all, wherever you are when you read this message and hear this message, whatever you're doing, whatever your background, whatever your contribution, whether in uniform or plain clothes, I'm enormously grateful because without that, that you bring to our great naval community, we could not achieve all that we are doing today. But I'm also conscious that the energy, the talent, the commitment, the focus, the time away comes with it a sense of sacrifice. And very often that sacrifice is felt not just by us, but by our friends and families, those who we love and who love us, because we place upon them an additional burden of support. So I would ask that you just take an opportunity to say thank you to them from me, from the senior leadership of the Royal Navy, for everything that they do and the part that they play in allowing us to do what we want. For those of you able to go home this Christmas and to spend time with those whom you would wish, go away, enjoy, relax, reflect with great pride upon what you have achieved, but also refresh yourselves. For those who are duty or on call over the Christmas period, whether at home in UK waters as we patrol them or further afield, to you I say thank you for continuing to be on watch. And I recognise that while you're away, that leaves a hole in Christmas gatherings. I know it from my own personal experience, and I recognise that at times that can make Christmas just that little harder to bear. And I would also hope that you can spend a time amongst yourselves to look forward to what next year has to bring. Because my goodness me, we cannot rest on our laurels. We are not a service that looks back, we are a service that moves forward. And charged as we are with everything that we have delivered this year and building on the confidence that the government has in us, we are going to have to continue to deliver more. But I'm confident, having returned to the service after two and a half years away, that the energy, the imagination, the focus and the talent amongst you all will get us where we need to be. Have a great Christmas break and a Happy New Year.